What's going on guys? Today I continue my Hackintosh hardware series with the GTX 650 Ti and Ti Boost graphics cards. I'm grouping these cards together in a single video because aside from the extra performance given to the card by the faster boost clock, the cards will function the same within OS X. The EVGA version of this card packs the reference design, which uses the typical blower fan on the front of the card. I noticed that the card was kept pretty cool when under load, which is a definite plus. The reference design also gives the card a very nice industrial look to it, which looks really nice when inside of a case. Both the 650Ti and the Ti Boost pack 2GB of video memory and 768 CUDA cores. This will give many users plenty of performance when using applications like the Adobe Suite for content creation. The card is powered off of a single 6-pin power connector and requires a power supply of at least 450 watts, which really isn't too bad for a card that has this much performance. After getting the card installed in your machine, it'll boot into OS X without any problems, as the GTX 650 is natively supported by OS X. As any other natively supported GPU, you'll need to set Graphics Enabler to No in your boot.plist for the card to function properly. Once you've reached the desktop with your 650, there's no extra work needed for a fully functional setup. The card is recognized perfectly, and full graphics acceleration is already being achieved. This card packs the typical display outputs of most modern cards, dual DVI, one HDMI, and one DisplayPort. All of these outputs work perfectly, and there's even support for multiple displays right out of the box. I was personally able to get dual displays working perfectly. Triple display setups are also supported with the latest drivers from Nvidia. Getting into the performance of this card, I first ran a Cinebench test. Cinebench returned a result of just under 30 frames per second, which is definitely low for what this card is capable of. Next, I turned to the Heaven benchmark and ran a benchmarking test on high settings with tessellation turned to medium and anti-aliasing turned up to 4. The Heaven benchmark returned a score of 743, with minimum frames per second being 6.5 and max frames per second being 65.1. At the end of the day, the GTX 650 Ti is a great GPU for running OS X. The Boost version adds a bit of extra performance, but both cards pack the CUDA cores, the cooling, and an overall great experience for your Hackintosh. It's safe to say that this is one of the more powerful and compatible cards for the sub $200 price range. Be sure to give me your thoughts on the GTX 650 Ti or the Ti Boost in the comments right down below that like button. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out roachtechnology.com and I hope to see you guys back here very soon.